Hi, so in this video we're going to start talking about significant figures. Um, there's going to be a couple of videos in this series, one of which will cover this one, which is significant figures, um, and then we're also, I'm also going to put together a video on decimal places. If you have a look at the uh, YouTube playlist, that will give you uh, those two videos. Or if you have a, if you have a look at uh, mathsrap.co.uk, um, there is a post there, and also you can download a... Uh, worksheet and have a go at some of the questions yourself. Significant figures generally tend to appear in exam papers and the question will say give your answer to two or three significant figures. Um, and it's very important I think sometimes to have a look at where it actually came from and why we talk about this particular phrase which is significant significant uh, figures. Okay, and what we mean by that, um, if we look at something like this, so I'm going to write down a number and the number is 751542. Um, okay, now that particular number represents the population of the city in which, uh, which I live in, which is Leeds in, uh, in the UK. So in Leeds, in the UK, I live in a city which has 751,542 people. Or do I? <laughs> because, depending upon when you're watching this video, that number could have changed. Um, it's also, it could have changed uh, quite quickly because there could have been somebody that was born today, somebody that uh, maybe twins were born or maybe uh, some people passed away or whatever it might be. But either way, when you look at this particular number, 751,542, it's not that accurate. It's only accurate at the moment in which that number was, uh, was created by carrying out a survey. But even then, it's, it could change very, very quickly. So this whole concept of significant figures has been brought into play. And really, it's all to do with confidence. So it's confidence in your numbers. Because if you were looking at wanting to find out the population of the city of Leeds for maybe, uh, let's say, for the purposes of taxation, um, then it might be good enough for you to say there's 750,000 people in the middle of Leeds. Well, 750,000 is that number to two significant figures. So the way significant figures works is that if I look at this number, the first two numbers are 75, which I keep, and then the rest of the numbers become, in this particular case, zero. So this number is to two significant figures. Okay, now let's have a look at two, three significant figures. Well, that's going to be slightly different because my third significant figure is one. Well, that's okay. The problem is, is that that one is going to be influenced by the fourth number. So when we're looking at um, significant figures, we look at the number that they want us to, to write to, but then look at the next number along. So if I look at the next number along, well that's a 5, and if the next number along is 5 or above, it means this number changes to go up. So actually, to three significant figures, it becomes 752,000. So in other words, there's a 2,000 person difference between um, the two significant figure number and the three significant figure number. So that's the only thing really to be aware of. If I did this to four significant figures, then again, I look at the fourth, so the fourth is five, the next number behind it is a 4. So in other words, that 5 stays the same. So it would be 751,500. And that's to 4 significant figures. 
So hopefully it will give you some idea of how these numbers can change uh, depending upon the answer that's being asked for. Um, significant figures really is, has been brought about because um, the population in this particular case can change up and down. It might also be a calculation which is um, really complex and very very difficult so in order to give people an idea of the calculation like um, I don't know, value of pi then uh, to write it to the significant figures is perfectly acceptable. It is tied in relatively closely with the concept of decimal places. Decimal places really is all about measurement and if you have a look at the next video that will give you some indication of how decimal places work and please do have a look at the post on matterapp.co.uk. Uh, there is a, a downloadable worksheet as I mentioned and also there is some text that will talk a little bit about populations and about why we use significant figures for populations. Um, I hope that's been helpful to you. Please do add a, add a comment below, uh, like the video and um, please do subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.